So in this video, we are going to try to boot into safe mode on Windows 8.1. Uh, so I'm going to go here. There are two ways. One is you can up, restart it and then press F8. Or you can try um, another trick that is press down shift button on your keyboard and then press restart. In my case, it's update and restart. But hopefully, it will not update and it will go straight to restart. So I'm going to pause this video here because my PC takes a little bit long to um, boot. But when it comes back, I will resume. So my system took forever to boot. But uh, once it comes back, boots back, you will see this screen. And over here, if I can show you, you will see choose an option. And there will be, if I can adjust the camera a little better, anyways it's <laughs> okay yeah much better so on the screen <clears throat> you see it says continue which means that you did that by mistake and you want to log back into your normal windows this one is troubleshoot turn off your pc if you want to just shut it down uh, you know if you are unable to fix it you can turn it off call it a day and go sleep whatever use a usb drive network connection windows recovery dvd to further you know reinstall whatever use another operating system it was a do if it was a dual boot and this one is was in fact a dual boot with windows 10 <clears throat> then uh, the one that you need to click is troubleshoot it will be on every uh, windows 8 uh, installation and on the next screen troubleshoot you will see refresh your pc reset your pc or advanced options Refresh your PC means that it, if it's not running well, Windows can check for you and see if it uh, needs to, you know, <coughs> delete something uh, or install some missing files. Uh, reset your PC means that you want to have a clean slate. You will delete everything on this uh, for, from this installation. You will reinstall Windows again, of course, from a DVD drive or if a USB you have, or DVD on all of the PCs now they have a like a. Uh, hidden recovery drive that they use uh, that is used for this purpose or any either one of them because people were losing their drives all the time the DVDs so for our purpose we want to go to in advanced options and here you have a few options what is system restore meaning if uh, you can restore it to a previous point that is recorded and if you had system restore enabled you can you know reset it to that point system image recovery if you have a rim image uh, of uh, that is for enterprise level or office you know networks that uh, if uh, IT department or use if as a student as well if you have an image you can recover it from there startup repair if there are you know fixed problem with windows uh, starting up if there are any programs that uh, you cannot remove windows can try to fix it for you and prevent some programs from loading the other one is command prompt if you're really good with dos uh, disk operating system or command prompt you can use this for our need to boot windows into safe mode we need this startup setting we click on this and you see stop St restart to change windows options such as enable lower resolution debugging mode boot loading and there is safe mode we can for this and there are the disable all these so for this we're going to restart and when it comes back we're going to press f4 or f5 it will give us an option so now it's going to restart one more time i'm going to pause this video here and maybe i don't have to if it boots yep it's putting back so you will see some logo of your motherboard or whatever and it's listing the start startup settings which setting do you want <clears throat> you want if you, you can press f10 for more option but if you can see that uh, number four is enable safe mode number five for our purpose enable safe mode with networking so if i were to press five it will <clears throat> now boot into a safe mode with networking prompt and previously we had to press f8 or you know whatever keys with that version of windows 
<clears throat> and that will give us an option of the startup uh, for Windows uh, 8 or 8.1. This is the way to go. Now I'm just waiting for the from now on you are done if you <clears throat> if you want you can you know go on move on to whatever troubleshooting you were doing but I just want to show you that how it will go uh, it will come back with the startup screen you will and it it will be a little bit weird like less colors under less resolution but that is actually your safe mode and then you can log in and do the troubleshooting like uh, I am uh, this is uh, a family computer it was my old PC <clears throat> and I just want to make sure since everybody is working from home my son is working for, for his school and I was setting things up for him so I was like hey why not just you know it's been <clears throat> a while so I just want to run a full antivirus scan and anti-malware and see if everything is up and good <clears throat> and here it comes so it says please wait and then quickly it went to uh, this login screen and you can see how big it is kind of and then if I go back it shows other users and you know so for my purpose I have to log in with the uh, my account to go check some settings uh, but that's it that's how you log into Windows 8 and safe mode thank you for watching and you have a great day if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share